To sketch the function, we need to be able to find out where it crosses the axis. So we know we have a quadratic and it's a positive quadratic. So I know that the shape is going to be this parabola, but I only have, if it's going to be a one-to-one, -one, then I'm only going to have part of this shape. So I'm actually interested in finding the turning point. Go back to where it crosses the axis. If I factorise, what I can see is that it crosses the axis at two points. It crosses the axis at minus four and it crosses the axis at zero. Now what I know is that this is a line of symmetry. So that tells me that this line here must be x equals minus two halfway between the two points. So if I'm going to sketch the curve, what I will have is at minus two, I'm going to have the minimum point. And we have the rest of our graph. So we have our function, and we're told that x cannot equal b. And then we're asked to write down the value of b. Well, any time we have a fraction, the first thing that we should know is that a fraction cannot have 0 as the denominator. So x minus 3 cannot equal 0, which means that x cannot equal 3. So b must be 3. To find the inverse function, I'm going to let y equal 4x over x minus 3, and now I'm going to change the subject of the formula. I want to end up with x equals. So to get that, I'm going to multiply across. Expand my brackets. Gather together all the x terms. And gather together the y. So the 4x has come over here, and the minus 3y over here. And if I factorise the left-hand side, and they both have x in common, what I can then see is by dividing, x would be 3y divided by y minus 4. So the inverse function of x would be 3x over x minus 4. We replace the x and the y. And our domain would be that x is real and that it cannot equal 4. And that's for exactly the same reason as the answer I gave in part 1. We cannot have 0 in the denominator. To answer part 3 now, what we need to understand is that the domain of the inverse is equal to the range of the function. So we just copy our domain. But instead of x, we say that g of x must be real and g of x cannot equal 4.